Constance McMillan is here this morning along with her attorney, Christine Sun of the ACLU. Good to have both of you with us this morning. Constance, you actually asked back in December. You went into the principal's office, as I understand, and said, hey, look, I know the prom's coming up. I'd like to bring my girlfriend. I want to make sure it's not a problem. What was the answer you were given? Um, he told me that that wouldn't be allowed because he said they just don't allow that. And whenever I asked him why, he said that when but something about when the tickets were first started, that um, it was cheaper for people to come as a, a date, like just two friends, than to come individually. So people would do that, and they were just trying to prohibit that. So basically this was about money, he said initially. Right, but I, I mean, I explained to him that you can't pretend like there's not gay people in our school, and if mm -hmm. you tell people they can't bring a same-sex date, that is discrimination to them. So this has this has basically snowballed, uh, and you found out earlier, in fact yesterday, the school board saying, look, we're canceling the prom, there's not going to be a prom. Uh, no one has said specifically it's because of your request, but I know that's really the feeling you're getting. What was it like when you went back to school? Um, it was it was hostile, but it was like silent. I mean, a lot of people didn't, I mean, I had a few people come to me and say stuff to me. Like know? what? Well, like, uh, you were in my senior year and stuff like that. But, I mean, you're, you're going to have people that are, are going to be like that, so you just have to. Which you sound pretty positive about it, but that, that can't be easy, man. I think we all remember back to our senior year and to have somebody say, you ruined my senior year. What's that like for you to hear? I mean, it hurts, but... I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is, like, hope that they'll understand that that was never my intention and that, I mean, now it's kind of like I'm fighting for prom for everybody now. Do you ever wish you hadn't asked? No, I don't. And Christine, the school has never come out and explicitly said we cancel the prom because of Constance's request. CBS News asked, is this the reason they canceled the prom? They referred us back to that statement, which, which again uh, said that this was due to distractions of the educational process caused by recent events. You're not convinced that's the reason? Oh, sure. I mean, it's, it's clearly the reason that they canceled the prom. Uh, the ACLU sent a letter on Constance's behalf, and one week later, uh, the school canceled the prom. So, so what happens now? I mean, is there any chance of getting this prom reinstated? We're fighting tooth and nail for that to happen. We filed a lawsuit yesterday. We're working on an emergency motion to go before the court to get the prom reinstated and so that Constance can bring her girlfriend to the prom to wear a tuxedo and everyone can be themselves. Uh, there's been a Facebook page started, I know. 50,000 friends have signed up or fans of the page have signed up uh, in just the first couple of days. Uh, what are you hoping to gain from this, though, nationally? Because this isn't just one school that's dealing with this. There are a lot of kids across the country faced with this. What do you think? What do you want to happen, Constance? I just want people, I want other kids to know that, they, that it's not right for, for schools to do that. And, I'm, I mean, I want them to be able to know that they can get a hold of the ACLU or, you know, the Mississippi Safe Schools Coalition works with, with ACLU. And they, they help people through stuff like this. That, I mean, because schools, they shouldn't be able to do that. To and you, you said before, I know you want people to know it's okay to be themselves. Right. It, it, you know, that's how I was raised. I don't know how everybody was raised, but that's how I was raised, to always be yourself and be proud of who you are. And, and it says it's, it's like they're asking you, like, for prom, you can be gay, just don't, don't be openly gay. Just, you know, hide it for a little while. Constance McMillan, Christine Sun, thanks for being with us this morning. We'll continue to follow it. Thank you.